Wait, David B. Rockin. You two's producer produced Luna C's latest album. You guys ever listen to Luna C? That band I is have, so yeah. good. I love that oh, fucking no. band. I haven't heard them in a long time. You're bringing up like my high school jams. Really? You were all into the, the J Rock shit yeah, in high man. school? I, um, Fuck yeah. I found, I found, so I was like discovering my music taste hard in high school because Dragon Force made me realize that metal was better than what they played on the radio. <laughs> yeah. Now, of course, Dragon Force being the one to do it, it's a fucking joke, but like all the only metal I knew was like Slipknot and Corn and Disturbed and all that. And then uh, through Dragon Force, because my friend showed me them. I found uh -huh. like these websites that were like, oh, metal, here's some metal, and we review metal, and here's an album, this and that. And I would just spend like hours a day just finding new bands and lunacy. Like they had a whole Japan section, and it was like lunacy, Lay yes. and Seal, Hell uh, yeah. Gekt, uh, Darren Gray, just all yeah. these, all these big names now that back then were like, they were popular, but not nearly what they are. I think Darren Gray has a new album coming soon. I would not it's be surprised. been a while for them. They're getting, they're getting very popular both over there and here. What was cool? What's cool about Duran Gray? Like I, that was one of my favorite bands for like a very long time. I mm -hmm. pretty much every time they've come to the U.S., I've went. But it's been interesting to see the demographic of their shows change because when they first started coming here, it was just nothing but weebs. But little by little, they're they accumulated more and more just like regular metal fans that like them. Yeah, they're starting to grow. They definitely awesome. are.